This world you're living in is rubbish. Wallahi, it's rubbish. Rasulullah is walking in the marketplace. Live the moment, live the moment. Rasulullah is with the Sahaba. Picks up a dead goat, a carcass, stinking, rotting, flies around it. So he picks it up by its ear with araf. He looks to his Sahaba, he says, who will buy this off me for one dirham? One dirham, who will buy it off me? So the Sahaba, يعني, Ya Rasulullah, يعني, what, what, what are we, we going to do with that? He says, Tab, who will take it off me? Ya khi, don't pay, take it for free. Have it for free. I said, Ya Rasulullah, even if it was alive, it's a defected goat. And now it's dead. And it stinks and it reeks and you want me to take it? He says to him, by Allah. This is your Habib. Listen to the words of your Prophet. He says, by Allah, this world and what it contains is less in the eyes of Allah than this dead carcass is to you. And we've left our Ummah. We're chasing after the little luxuries of this world. Go. Go and see the condition. My brothers, this is your responsibility. Your Habib, your Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to cry the nights. Why? Why? Why would you cry the nights, Ya Rasulullah, when Al Maqam Al Mahmud was given to you anyway? You're already going straight to paradise. He cried the nights for you and I. He cried the nights because he's seen these days were coming. He cried the nights because you now go, go forget what's happening around the world. In Auburn, in Auburn, Wallah Al Hadim, in Auburn. Lebanese Muslim, Lebanese Muslim father is sleeping with his seven year old daughter here in Auburn. Astaghfirullah. Of course, brother, of course, when there's no da'wah in this world, this is what happens to the condition. Naam. This is what happens to the world. Your job is to establish deen on this earth. The Ummah is crying. Wallah al the Ummah is crying for help. And you know what the poison is? You and I were convinced that this is the job of the Mashaykh, mashallah. This is the job of the Mashaykh. No, my brother, this is your job and it's your amana. And I'm telling you by Allah, you will be questioned for this on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hadith, in the hadith, Rasulullah is telling us that Allah, he sent an angel to destroy a town. Sent an angel to destroy a town. So when the angel comes to the town, he notices that there's a abid. There's a strong abid. So the angels confused, he's thinking, what's going on? He goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Allah, you've asked me to destroy this town. But in this town, there is a Abid who, listen, listen to this. He says, he hasn't disobeyed you the blink of an eye. This is an angel who only knows how to worship Allah. And he's testifying that this man hasn't disobeyed you the blink of an eye. What did Allah say? He says, start the destruction with him. Why? Because he's seen the condition of the Ummah and what did he choose to do? Sit in his house and MashaAllah worship Allah. No, my brothers, no. We have a job, we have a responsibility, we have an amana.